All right, let's do this. All right, let's just start with our TRX. So if you're watching us live, welcome to Kettlebell and Core. And we're going to start with the TRX. So get on your TRX, sink back, and just to start with some deep Vs. If you're on the ground, you can just do some plank to pikes. Just sink your weight back and bring yourself right back up again. So hips back and hips up. So again, with the movement of the swing is a deep V anyway. So as you come up, pause, push down into your legs, push back into your hips, and then back up again. Let's do about 10 more. Get nice and long. Feel that stretch in your back. So if you're doing a plank to pike, and I would just continue to go back, bend the knee as you need to, shift back into your heels, into your toes. Do about five more. Four. Three. Let's go two more. And last one. Sink back into your hips. Come forward and let's just drop forward into a hinge. So if you're using a TRX, you're just going to shift your hands down and come back up. Let your hands come down to your shins and come back up. Nice and long, just shift forward. Remember, you're not loading your arms because your arms really aren't a part of this. You're shifting your arms forward as your hips go back, initiating the movement at the hips. Good, about five more. Four. Two more, and last one. So you're gonna bend your knees all the way down. So if you're on the ground, you're gonna do some knees rocking. You're gonna come up and then press your heels down. So bend the knees, come down into kind of a squat position. Your butt is about just maybe a little bit lower than your knees. Push down into your strap and come back up. Let's do about five of those. So you can do knees rocking if you are on the ground. Do four more. Three, come up off the heels. Two more. Drop back into the heels as you stand up. Fully extend the legs. Really work to keep those shoulders down so you're not trying to shrug up or pull yourself up, but you're re-extending that accordion. One more all the way up. And then take your arms up and overhead reach. Find your end point. So if you're on the ground, you're going to be doing an inchworm. And then drop and then take over your head. So if you're on the ground, you're doing an inchworm in place. You got about three more. Work that upper back. Two. And last one. Nice and long. Pull those arms up. Good. And then down. Go ahead and just drop your TRX and rotate around your torso. Just let those arms swing. Let your hands hit your side. As you rotate your hip, look around behind you and you're looking to kind of rotate your whole spine from your right hip to your left shoulder. Keep that foot on the ground so you're not just spinning that foot and it's not just sliding around. But think about pushing down into that ball of that foot lifting the heel up, pressing down. So you get that full extended rotation. You've got four more, three, two, and then last one. We're gonna start with the dumbbell. So grab your dumbbell. If you have a dumbbell, if you only have kettlebells, then you'll have a kettlebell. So a lighter and a heavy. So grab your dumbbell, place it on your shoulder to do five squats so five squats just regular four three two switch sides five squats on the other side five four three two last one down and back up single leg hip hinge you can keep it in the same hand or switch single leg hip hinge two three, four, and five. You'll single leg hip hinge to the other side. Five again, five, four. So again, with a hip hinge, bend the standing knee a little bit, utilize the hip in the front to bring yourself back up. And five, and then we're gonna go to a bicep curl and a press and then just straight up to the press. Two, 
three, four, full body extension after this, all the way down, switch hands, bicep curl to overhead press, three, four, and five. Good, okay? So put the weight down, grab your kettlebell. So instead of squats, you're gonna do a two-minute swing. When we do single hand um, or single leg, you'll do a single leg kettlebell, single leg hinge. Then you're gonna do pull up clean, overhead press five. You'll put it all the way down, clean the bell, put it overhead press, and you'll do five, put it down, and then you'll start over again with the dumbbell. Okie doke. So starting with five swings. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice and simple. Then hold it in one hand, and then you're gonna do the single leg hinge. Two, three, four, and five. Switching hands, switching sides. Five. Make sure you're bending your standing leg, sinking into that hip. Two, three, four, and five. You can start on that hand if you want, clean it up, and five overhead press. If it's too heavy, then you go back and you do a two-handed for 10. Two, three, four, and five. All the way down, clean it up, and five. Push your hip into it, four. So let you're sinking your hip into it, and three. Keep that hip out, four, and five. Good, and then bring it all the way down. Let's do the um, drills again. And again, squats. So you got five squats, five overhead press, and then um, five hinges. Two, three, four, and five. Five squats on the other side. Five, four, three, two, five overhead press. Five, four, three, two, last one, other side. You can take it all the way down up if you want, or just switch sides. Four, three, two, last one, single leg hip hinge, standing right leg, holding the weight in your left. Keep that head and chest up. Five, four, three, two more, and last one. Good, switch sides, single leg hip hinge, five, four, pause at the end points, three, two, and last one. Good, back to the kettlebell. We'll do 10 two hands. 10 two-handed swings, 10 five by five overhead press, and then five by five swing, um, hinges. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Single to a clean to an overhead press, two, three, four, and five. Drop it down to a clean, to an overhead press. One, two, three, four, and five. Single leg hinge. Weight comes down, Single leg hinge, stand up. Two, three. Nice, you can keep that head and chest up. Four and five and switch sides. And lift up. Five, 
four. Bend the knee of the standing leg, three, two, last one. Good, go ahead and put the weight down. Go back to your TRX or go back to the ground. Do plank to pike, knees rocking, and then we're gonna do a bird jog. Get a sip. Actually, let me run and get a sip real quick. So hip five, plank to pikes. Kind of those knees rocking things that we did. Or you can go on your mat and do them. So nice and long, hinge back and come up. So if you're on the ground, you want to just do plank to pikes, you can. Or you can do them upright like this. And then, then you've got kind of those rocking, so your arms are out in front. You're going to come up on the toes and then fully extend. And then lift up actually on your heels and then come back up, fully extend. Two, three, keep the torso tall. You can also do knees rocking. Four, and five. And then you're just gonna do either an alternating bird dog or you're gonna do a step back lunge. So you can get down the ground and you can be doing a bird dog or you can do an alternating step back lunge. I'm just adding that arm forward. If you want, you can. Four. And five. All right, let's go back to those sets. Grab that dumbbell. Five squats. Five added on, full body extension this time. And then five, hinge. Are you getting into it? Yeah, he got into it. <laughs> it's always a love of oral after 25 years or whatever of marriage. <laughs> All right, so five squats to begin. Starting in five, four, three, two. Squat down for five, four, three. Two, and last one, switch sides. And again, five, four, three, two, and then down. So I'm gonna have you go to a single leg hip hinge because you're gonna go to a hinge with a row, holding that hip hinge. Three, four, and five. Come on up and single leg hip hinge on the other side. Hold five, four, three, two, and last. Good. And then a full body extension. So all the way to the ground, all the way up. Switch hands, all the way to the ground, all the way up. Switch hands. Here's four, four, and five, and five, and five. Good. Grab your kettlebell. You've got two handed swings. Let me fix the counterbalance on this because we know what happens when I don't. So for our 30th anniversary of our first date, should we upscale it? Because our first date was at Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Suya instead, yeah. sushi. Yeah. But I don't know. Do they? I mean, it's true, Carl's and light might be pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Double Western bacon Now, he did pay for Carl's Jr. I did buy the concert tickets. Oh. So, should I have him pay for Carl's Jr. or grade the game to Kazuya? 
more than your Carl's Jr. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it was so worth it 30 years later. <laughs> Three, two, ten swings. What uh, content? Michelle shot. Yep. She was anchored down in Anchorage. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of the 90s girl folk singer. Who's that? Not Alanis Morissette, but what's that gal's name who's kind of like... The rebel, she's a rebel kind of a gal, and she kind of got arrested for doing things or making whatever. But she sang a song called Anchor Down in Anchorage, too, so you know, she can't be that big of a rebel. <laughs> so you're gonna do full body extension, or you can do a clean to a snatch. So you're here and here, and the clean to a snatch would be a single arm. You'd clean it and press it. That would be that option, or come down and come down clean and press you can do it that way or you can do it all the way into the snatch which is all the way up no pause at the shoulder okay. so no pause at the shoulders the glue got to be on shoulders got to be on tighten everything up so you're not taking the behind you okay so you got five on each side you choose clean it to a pause. you can do You've got five on each side. Clean to press, or you do the full snatch. And then you've got a single leg hip hinge five rows single leg hip hinge come on up to the first one and five rows five four three two and last one good other side and again five four three two and last one and down go back to your dumbbell five squats five full body extensions with that overhead press and five um, single arm rows starting in three we've got two more one this is the first one we got one more set of complete after this starting in three two and five squats five four three Two and down, switch sides. Five, four, get low. Three, two, and down. Five full body, all the way up and down. Squat, don't just drop your head. Up, up, three. Four, and five, each side, and down. Single leg hip hinge, foot can be down or keep it up for the row. So if you want the foot to be down, you're just stabilizing more with the back foot. Three, four, and five, nice you guys. And then five on the other side. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right, 10 swing. 10 sing, what's that? <laughs> like, no, 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 I wanna be done. If I roll out of here, I'm out of here. All right, 10 swings. 10 single leg rows and 10 cleans, so, or 10 snatches. Starting in three, I don't have a watch on. Two, and go. 10 swings. Two, keep your head and chest up. Three, four, exhale. Five, six, seven, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Single leg hinge. And over row two, three, four, five. And the other side, balance, leg up, five, four, three, woo, two, and down. All right, five by five, either a clean to a press or snatch each side. Let's go. Five by five in three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, grab your tea and water when you're done. Again, five plank to fikes, flat. <laughs> five knees rocking, five by five bird dogs or skiers. You can do the same. So arms are straight, Marla walk backward a little bit. Mary walk back just a tiny bit. Good, start with your arms straight, drop into those hips and just come back up. It should be real simple. Sink back, you shouldn't be too low to the ground. Toes can elevate, that gets that little bit more stretch. Hamstrings to heels. Back lifted. You can even waggle the tail a little bit when you get down into that length. And then those kind of upright knees rocking are next. So hands are out in front. Again, you can do knees rocking on the ground or lift out of the heels, press and stand. Lift out of the heels, press down and stand. All the way down low. See if you can get your butt to your heels now. Now that we're all real warmed up, Lift out of your heels. Kind of like lifting out of your mind. What are you, crazy? One more time. And then back up, alternating. Step back, reach forward. Step left, reach forward. Four. Or bird dogs or skiers. One more each side. All right. We've got squats, full body extensions, single arm rows, swings, cleans, and then rows again with that kettlebell. All right, starting with, you guys wanna start with either one? Dumbbells or kettlebells? Don't care, start with dumbbells. And if you're all like, oh man, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, she should have spoken up. <laughs> all right, squatting in. Five, get low, four, three, two, and last one, other side. Five, four, three, two, and last one. We'll do those single arm rows. Find the hinge and row. Two, three, four, and five. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and last one that full body extension. Sweat in my eyes. All the way down, press all the way up, switch hands. Up. 
up, up, this is three, four, and five and five. Good. I love when we're halfway to the halfway done. 10 swings, 10 rows, or five by fives. Five by five overhead, clean to bridge. Let's start in five, four, three, two. It's a freckle past the hair. <laughs> two, three, four, five. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. Right. Standing on one leg. Grab that weight, find the hinge, and row. Five. Make sure that elbow's coming back, not right underneath your shoulder. Four and five. Switching sides. Five, four, three. Two, last one, and down. All right. Hopefully you're sweet because I am. <laughs> it's a little humid today. So five by five, clean and press, or five by five, snatch, or whatever variation you'd like on that. Let's go in three, two, and one. Two, three, Four, five, switch side, five, four, three, two, and done. Get your mat, get your TRS, grab a mat real quick. We'll get some core work in here. I want you to finish with one more set of plank to pike or deep V and then we'll get on your mat. If you're already on your mat, enjoy the ride. One more set of plank to pike or deep V. Drop back and come forward. Nice and long. Two, three. On your last one, just hang out either in the downward face or in the deep V and just kind of rest in there like pedal your feet and then bend your knees all the way to the ground if you're on the mat bend your knees to a deep squat if you're on a mat you're going to be all the way on the ground good and you're back into a squatted position if you're on a TRX you're just hanging in a squat and your hands can be on the ground back in your knees put your back on your heels and it's just a deep squat there you go just feel that stretch in the lower back. And then on a TRX, pull yourself up. And then come to your mat. Go ahead and have your dumbbell or your kettlebell with you. And so that you can use those. Because we'll do some get-ups. Because, you know, for Pete's sake, why not? So we're gonna do some reverse rollbacks or kind of reverse curls. Feet out in front, body's nice and tall, chest is lifted, hands in front, no weight yet, no weight at this point. And then you're just gonna roll back all the way down, all the way back. Keep your head up. If you want, bring your knees up and just kind of fling yourself back. Or you can work a little bit more and challenge and roll yourself back. Roll back, pelvis, Shoulders, head stays up. Exhale and roll all the way back up. Or you could curl like a ball and come back up. You've got five more. Roll all the way back. And back up. And 
roll back. Again, you can come up like a ball if you want. And up. And let that pelvis curl. And up. And two. Roll down. And back up. And last one, roll down. This time, as you come up, you're going to come up and touch your right foot or your right knee. And then roll down. And then come up and touch your left foot. And then roll back. And come up, touch your right foot. And roll back. And up, left foot. And roll back. And up, right foot. And back, and up, left foot. And again, right foot, left foot. Right, and left. Two more each side. Last one, each side. Woo! And last one here. Ha ha! That's some pretty core intense stuff. Oh, wow. So quarter get up, knee, arm, five, five. Give your fifth one on each side, get up somehow. Whether you do the get up or whether you do whatever get up, it's gonna get all the way to stand. Right knee, right arm up, pack that shoulder in, press up for five. Four, three, two, and last one. Hold, stay up, and just come up somehow further, like a Turkish get up, and get back down again. Again, somehow get yourself down. You don't have to Tur do a Turkish get down, just get down. And then the other side, five by five. Left arm, left knee is up, right arm, right leg. Pack that shoulder into the body and come up. Five, four, work the hip, drive through the feet. Three, two, and last one. And all the way up. And all the way back down. <laughs> Just get down. Yeah, no rules. Everything's right. Good. Grab one of your weights. You can go heavier with your kettlebell potentially or lighter with your dumbbell. Hold whichever one of them close to your chest. And then you're just tip back into kind of a boat pose. So hold 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower back a little further. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pick your legs up. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Extend your legs out. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take your arms overhead. Hold ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And I'll take it down. Roll to one side. Drop the weight down. Bring yourself all the way back up again. And then come into all fours. Hands and knees. Move your weights and stuff kind of out of your way. And you're going to do a five by five kick through. You're going to do one relatively quick and one relatively slow. So knees up, kick, two, three, four, and five. Now five relatively slow. Knees up, roll and kick. Hold. Bring your foot in. Roll and kick your foot through and hold. Bring your foot in. Roll. 
Bring your foot through and hold. Knee in, roll and hold. And again, reach and pull, rotate and reach. One side and reach. All right, all the way back to your mat. Roll all the way back on the ground. You're done with being in timeout. Can you join the group now? <laughs> Roll yourself all the way back on your ground. Open your arms up to a big white T. Just appreciate the ground that's holding you up. Whew. This, hopefully the sun and the sky and the leaves and the air, trees, knees to your right. Drop over, knees to your left. Halfway a stretch, halfway. Work towards obliques <sighs> work towards that thoracic and shoulder rotation that movement out of the right shoulder towards the left hip two more and last one each side <sighs> and down good rock yourself up one foot in rotate towards the front leg Hold that leg, not just hanging out there, but get that body tall. Big deep breath and rotate. Inhale, come center, and let's switch and do the other side. Hold and rotate. You don't have to be that crisscrossy. Just put your foot in front. There you go. And rotate. Whew. And folks, done! Nicely done. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining. If you didn't catch the whole thing, of course, you can watch the whole thing in replay as well as it will be up on uh, YouTube and so on and so forth. Or you're more than welcome to come join us here and be a part of the fun under the tree again. Just let me know so that we can have enough equipment, make a reservation. And uh, anyways, it makes you call me and say hi anyway. I hope you're well. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Mary, you're okay.